I am Bowtie Man, defender of the innocent, stalker of the night. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power. Green Lantern. <coughs> er, uh, whoops, wrong hero. I feel like Bowtie Man would have more of a Robin voice than a Batman lung cancer voice. Anyways, doesn't matter. Point is, I love superheroes. I love that they can grapple with such conflicting identities while figuring out who they really are on a psychological level. Nah, no one cares about that stuff. We all like superheroes because they can throw cars and fly through buildings. I've liked them since I was little. The movies were always fun to watch, and what little kid doesn't like action figures? They're action figures, not dolls! I didn't really get into all their backstories and stuff till my high school years, though. I wore superhero t-shirts and hoodies almost every day through high school. It was... It, it was it was pretty bad. I, I was I was a pretty big nerd. Over the years, I've amassed a pretty big digital comic book collection. It's just easier to maintain than normal comic books, and they don't rip and get faded, and it's just... I like it more like that. On my phone, I have over 800 comics. It's a huge collection, and it takes up a lot of space, and honestly, I don't need them all, but I still keep them, because I, I, I do need them. I need them to live. They're mostly of Batman, The Flash, Justice League, Superman, and The Walking Dead. Ironically, The Walking Dead is my favorite comic series. It's kind of annoying, though, because I've read every issue of it, but I also watched the show. I meant to say show. So, I watch the show. And when I watch it, I can't stop comparing the two. Daryl? Not in the comics. Abraham? Should have died when Denise did. Andrea? Yeah, the annoying blonde chick from season one. She should still be alive and be Rick's lady friend. Rick shouldn't have both hands. Judith died with Lori in the comics. <sighs> Deep breaths, boo. Deep breaths. Those comics are amazing. I can't wait for all the upcoming superhero movies, by the way. I'm dragging everyone I know and their mothers to see all of them as many times as my wallet can afford. Wonder Woman, Justice League, Aquaman, especially Aquaman. I love what they did with him. He lives in the frickin' ocean. He shouldn't be the clean-cut, blonde, nice guy that he is. The ocean isn't nice. The ocean's a jerk. There are sharks in there. Sharks are jerks. <sighs> More deep breaths, boo. More deep breaths. I just love that he's now this big, burly, long-haired, bearded, jack-drinking son of a bit. Anyways. I love how mainstream superheroes are becoming. It gives us geeks reasons to come out of our basements. Kinda sucks, cause that was like our thing, and now everyone likes it, but whatever. We're happy to share our heroes. Marvel sucks, by the way.